652, time for the morning sprint. Rescuers are running out of time to find the small submarine that's missing near the wreckage of the Titanic. It disappeared Sunday Church. with five people on board in the North Atlantic Ocean. It has less than four days worth of oxygen and supplies. Coming up on CBS Mornings, the crew will break down the protocol in place to help those folks on board survive. And we're following some breaking news this morning from France. Investigators there are searching the headquarters of the Paris Olympic Committee as part of a probe into possible corruption. It's the 2024 Summer Games scheduled to take place in Paris next year. The office is not commenting any further. An eight-year-old boy from Waukesha is one of the two people killed in a plane crash in Watertown last week. His church is remembering him as a boy who loves sports. His family is now launching a memorial fund with the church in his honor. You can read more about how to donate at channel3000.com. Six people are injured this morning from a shooting after the Milwaukee Juneteenth parade celebration. Thousands of people were in attendance. Governor Evers responding in a tweet saying our hearts break tonight for the victims. He went on to say we must do more to stop gun violence and keep our kids and communities safe. More Wisconsin colleges could close their doors and tuition become more costly. That's coming from the UW system as it scrambles to figure out how to handle a potential $32 million funding cut. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has threatened to pull that money over diversity, equity and inclusion efforts on campuses. Two-year campuses could be hit the hardest. The DNR is warning fishers and boaters of the potential for an increase in fish kills as the warmer weather sets in. In periods of excessive heat, water can become so warm that some species of fish can't tolerate it. If you notice a fish kill event, you should report it immediately to the DNR tip line. We have that up right now on channel3000.com. Vermont's attorney general suing Monsanto for its part in producing chemicals known as PCBS. The case is seeking damages for losses to the state's environment and fighting against the cancer-causing chemical leaching into schools. 13 schools throughout the Vermont state have reported harmful levels of the chemical in their air and their waterways. Two days of tense talks and no agreement. That's the message from the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, this morning. He's returning from a trip to China where the two countries tried to reestablish communications to avoid a military crash. That failed, at least for now, but more talks are expected soon. Well, good morning. Five minutes away from 7 o'clock, a very nice start to our Tuesday morning. The last day of spring, officially, astronomically at least, but we've got plenty of sunshine out there. Going to be feeling like summer going into the afternoon, even though we are starting off nice and cool. 55 right now in Madison, 62 in Juneau, Janesville at 63, 55 in Lone Rock, the Adels at 63. Temperatures warming fairly quickly. In fact, I think as we get into the noon hour, it should be above 80 degrees. A lot of sunshine today. East winds around 10 miles per hour. A beautiful afternoon as we head into the mid to upper 80s today with the sunshine east winds at 10 miles per hour and the first warm forecast carries that warm weather through the rest of the week. The official day of summer starts tomorrow. Temperatures this weekend in the upper 80s. We do have pretty good chances of rain. It looks like by Saturday night into Sunday that could linger into Monday as temperatures back off a little bit by the early part of next week. You're thinking that might be the drink of water we need. I think widespread uh, rainfall amounts, beneficial amounts, at least a half of an inch. Okay. Kelly, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Another news and weather update coming up in 30 minutes.